today to hear our artist talk. Um, we have with us today uh, Craig Smith Barker. And uh, I don't know if Andrew wanted to say anything uh, before. Um, I'm Andrew Hausner uh, from Think Space. Uh, I put all this craziness together uh, along with my wife and my partner. Um, and Andy from the museum, of course, who can't join us today, but uh, she wanted to wish everybody hi and everything. Um, we've worked with Craig for, I mean, between Campbell Flower and us, what, 15 years now? Yeah, 16 years? 15, 16 years. Yeah, I mean, we've watched his family grow up together, and <laughs> watched beloved pets come and go, and um, really gotten to know these guys quite well. And, um, He's also a drummer in a punk band that's pretty world-renowned and has toured the globe uh, by the name of The Stitches. Um, avid surfer, um, amazing artist. And um, this installation that he put together um, for the exhibition here really kind of speaks to his history of surfing and his family's history of surfing and um, just how much it kind of influences his everyday life and I think is art and pretty much every facet oh, of your being. Yeah. Um, so yeah, without further ado, um, I know you're here to listen to this man and not me yet a lot. So uh, if you got any questions throughout the presentation, yeah. just raise your hand. I think we'll be Feel free to out. ask any questions yeah. you got. And, uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, uh, I'll let Craig take it away. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming. Uh, when I first was thinking about, when I was first asked to do this installation, I was thinking, I was thinking it was going to be much smaller. I didn't think I was going to get this much space. So I had an idea of doing a vertical kind of collage painting combo timeline of Southern California surf history. Because my family is, we have long roots in surfing. We all grew up at the beach since my great grandparents. So when I started thinking about it and, and drawing sketches and you know trying to figure it all out, it was very linear uh, vertically and it was much smaller space in my mind. And then as once I got the dimensions and figured out, oh geez, I have a lot of walls to figure out what to do with, I knew I had to do something horizontal. So I started designing paintings to go horizontally. And I didn't know exactly what I was going to paint to start, because that's the way I usually start with, with installations like these. I start with paintings. And then if it's an installation where I'm asked to do a bigger type of more of an installation stuff with objects and things, then I create those to go with the paintings. So the paintings always come first, and then the installation kind of goes around that. So I knew I was limited with space to come out, and I usually do objects and furniture pieces and all kinds of larger materials, but I knew I was going to be limited. So I knew I wanted to make it kind of cohesive, but in a smaller area. <clears throat> so I came up with this idea of building into this area right here um, and I wanted to stick to a surfing theme like I said because of my history but I also consider these things as memories and not just like memories of, of yesterday and today but memories that you carry with you like your memories are, to me, your memories are, they're basically who you are. And not of a nostalgic kind of like, oh, I wish this was a, I wish we lived in earlier times, though back then it was way better. I don't look at it that way. I look at it like, I kind of enjoy where I am now and my, my life now and today. I mean, every era has its ups and downs. But I think the objects that we carry with us and the memories that we have tied to them are really our, they, they make up who we are. And we, there's reasons we carry certain things around with us. And, you know, with the fires recently, I've heard stories upon stories of people losing, you know, family heirlooms and objects and photo albums, you know. But one thing I saw on the news was one lady who said, I haven't lost my memory of those objects. I haven't lost the memory of my photo, family photo album. I don't have those objects anymore, but I still have their memory and I'll carry that with me forever, which was kind of really brought home what this kind of just conglomeration of objects means to me. Because a lot of this stuff is stuff I've just collected at yard sales or antique shops or whatever, but some of it is actually my, some of my family stuff, like these movie reels were from my, uh, <coughs> my aunt had all of our old family photos 
digitized and put onto DVDs, and these were the old reels that were the, the film, our family films from when I was a kid. And uh, a lot of this stuff is just collected stuff. This I got in Hawaii, on a surf trip to Hawaii. This mask I got in Indonesia on a surf trip to Indonesia. So it all kind of is personal, yet I decontextualize it by painting it and taking it out of the family history and making it, elevating it to putting something on here, on the walls here at the museum. So, and the TVs are just a running TV of memories and images, layers of images that come and go and mean things. And sometimes it's just a thought you have in your mind where you don't actually remember the specifics, but you have an image of what it was, the past in your mind. And I wanted to kind of, it was kind of timely, I wanted it all to be, since all, all my paintings are usually of female figures, I wanted to do all these bikini paintings of different eras. And then to go along with those, I want to do collages of, to tie in with the women in the bikinis, I want to do all women surfing. So all of the collages tied to the paintings are little images of different women surfing from different eras. And that kind of ties to our family history of surfing, my, as I said, my great grandparents. They're, around the corner, there's images of my my great grandma riding a belly board at, in Long Beach in the 1800s. So, and my nephew is a professional surfer today. So, there's a there's a lot of roots of surfing and the beach, just beach culture in our family. And I wanted to tie that into Moa being the museum of art and history. So to tie my family history with Southern California history, surfing history, and create an installation on the walls that to me was kind of thoughtful and beautiful. So, if you want to move around the corner, yeah, walk through. Oh yeah, I don't know if any of you know Annie who works here at the museum. She's the, I don't know what her title is here, curator. <laughs> These are her daughters right here in this picture. Oh, wow. oh, that's These cool. two. That's Miley and Nani. And I got to know them really well in, in Hawaii on a surf trip. <laughs> So is your family from Long Beach, or? Our yeah, my family's from Long Beach, but I grew up in Huntington. Yeah. So all my, my mom still lives in Long Beach, and right. her parents and her parents' parents, and <laughs> yeah, we have a deep, deep roots in Long Beach. Yeah, yeah, we were from uh, Rossmore. Oh, we yeah. Seal Beach. Yeah, that's where my aunt lives, in Rossmore, who had those yeah. movie reels. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, you got questions? Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily to the serving part. I did more reference the female part, and that it's my, one of my wife's favorite colors. So, and it's one of my favorite colors. I like pinks and teals are together are my two. This color and this color, they're a good contrast. Pink bats are really good. Yeah. The one thing that's been a constant. The pink polka dots are always always somewhere in my paintings. So I wanted. Thoughtful with it. I didn't want to be. I wanted to do different shades of paint and different accents. I didn't just want everything. 